This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so Akbar V, now that BBLs are around, uh, people are talking about Roly Poly getting a uh, BBL. I don't know what she's from, but Roly. Um, she says, see a lot of you adding me under my blogs about my surgery, which I like to educate you. I have more rounds of cosmetic surgeries to do because I'm not okay with my body. But another thing is to stop judging people and worrying about their bodies and love people for who they are. Round two, I guess she said she lost her weight before she got a BBL. Who cares? It's your life. 21 Savage apparently moved on from... Uh, uh, what's her face? <laughs> Lotto. Uh, she, he has a new girl. Uh, supposedly this Kenya Joseph woman, proud wife. Lotto just a few months ago tattooed his name. Oh yeah, stupid stuff, right? <laughs> uh, this guy, Sean Kingston, says he bought a jet. You didn't buy a jet. You didn't buy a jet, bro. You were just having cars repossessed shortly ago. Um, he just man mismanages money. Um. He doesn't really get booked that much. It's weird, though, because he had a lot of hit records. Um, just you never hear his records playing anymore or anything like it's kind of like the industry bailed on Sean Kingston. A lot of bad things must have happened business wise. Plus, he hasn't really put anything out for over a decade. So you can you can you know, you're still getting money, but you're not getting jet money. OK, uh, jet money is a different caliber of artist, okay. Even, even if you're 21 Savage, buying a jet would be dumb, because he doesn't have a hundred million dollars. You want to have like over 30 million with still a cash flow of a few million a year to even consider a jet. And what would you need a jet for? You would need it because you're getting booked all the time. It would have to have a business purpose, right? John Kingston isn't getting booked like that. Um, Spice Official says, hey, Era Kimena, this is, uh, you know, Safari's ex. Uh, you trying to blame everything, everyone for what Safari is doing, but yourself. You lose them how you, you get them, you sucker. Because, <laughs> you know, she's a Jamaican. So she's talking, I guess she's talking in Patois on her message. Well, she also goes off here. Some people, let me make sure I take a deep breath because I don't know I'm still ready. I see the media talk about saying, oh, this is a storyline. I'm not the storyline. I'm not the fake story. Anything will come out of my mouth, any story I'm doing, any scene I'm going to, it's 100% real. Because I have no time for the fakeness. I'm not like fake people. Just, so let me just explain something to you. Every time you're fake as fuck, you sit down in front of my face and I laugh and I talk. But, oh, I love you so much. I was praying for you. And when you was dying, bitch, when, you, when I was dying and Safari was crying, you was acting ballistic in the house. Why are you crying for this bitch? Why are you crying for her? You wasn't crying for me. Like, what's the comparison? Whatever you have going on in your house, now I have nothing to do with me, Erica. Whatever Safari is doing to you, you don't have nothing to do with me. So when you compare yourself, what's this jealousy over me? What's this jealousy over Safari like me? Me and him are just friends. Me not fucking baby. Baby, I promise you 100% and a million dollars. Me love looking me not gone to bed. Me not fuck Safari. <laughs> me not fuck Safari. <laughs> it sounds like my girlfriend when she gets mad at me because she's from Jamaica. And she starts speaking the patois, and it gets a little crazy. <laughs> That's when I know she's mad. Me no have it, though. Me no have. <laughs> uh, Rick Ross car and bike show plans to hit a roadblock as Fayette County denies approval. So he's going to, I think he's pushing it to June 30th or something. He's still going to have it, just in a different venue. Which makes sense. He can't have it at the promised land. The promised land. <laughs> okay. Futures, one of his baby moms, obviously was trying to make him mad or something because she went from dating Future to dating OMB Peasy, who is not a very successful artist. I don't care what you guys say. He's not super successful. Just because you know his name doesn't mean he's... Successful. He's, let's see, who's he signed to? It says British Pound. Why would it be in British Pound? 
Anyways, uh, he is, he has a few songs out. You know, he's he makes money every month. He's just not a multi millionaire. You know, he has he hasn't gotten to that level yet. But she is trying to play him. I don't know why she was even dating him. I guess she just likes rappers, you know, from the hood, you know, which is cool. You know, like that's her thing. But uh, she's blasting him saying he's using my cars, my chain because she's an IG model. So she has her own money, too. The Internet. When I had my daughter, everyone was saying I was doing it for clout. I did it for money. Blah, 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 blah. But I was fucking with my baby daddy since 2017 on and off. And I just happened to get pregnant. Yeah, Future was famous in 2017, so you might have been doing it for clout. If you, if you had messed with Future in 2010, maybe different story. Um, and then I got with OMB Peasy, who don't have more money than me, that were, lived in my house, that used my cars, used my jewelry, didn't couldn't afford no rent. I did that shit out of love. Y'all was trying to stay out with him for money, but that nigga don't have no fucking money. So basically, Future's kid had to live in a house with her, right? Which he probably pays for because out of the, he probably has a big um, child support, right? And yet OMB is living in there with his kid. See, this is why you got to be careful who you have kids with. She's got another rapper in there with his kid living there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you guys is always trying to bash a girl and say she's with somebody for money and shit. But then on the flip side, when we do deal with a nigga that don't have much, um, we go do shit like this. Nigga done stole my $30,000 chain that he's wearing on his neck to this day. And what's crazy to me is this is why women always choose niggas that have more money or may seem like they fuck with rich niggas because at least when we deal with niggas that got some, we don't got nothing stealing from us. We don't lose money. You know, that's why bitches choose niggas with money. He will give money back after his tour. His tour been over. That nigga didn't even want to come to my house and get his clothes because he didn't want to give me my chain back. That I had to literally get his clothes and bring it to his brother's house. So he had your chain, and you st you see see what happened here. She still was obsessed with him. OMB PC got the the trance on her. She was hoping to still like have something with him. Like even though he still had her chain, right? She was like, I'm gonna bring his clothes back to him too. You gave him everything he wanted to break this down. So that chain meant so much to him. He was willing to leave all his clothes at my crib. Like, he would not get him out. I don't know if he thought he was going to come back and stay. I know he ain't cheat or nothing like that. I was tired of taking care of a grown... You know he didn't cheat? What? Ass man. That why we broke up. It was no other reason. Nah, he didn't want to be with you anymore. That's what happened. Which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, Future is sitting back like... Marvelous. <laughs> this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.